Hello everyone, this is Steven from Martech Wiz. Today in this video we're going to look at Kickoff Labs. This is a uh, landing page builder that has great design, has a lot of cutting edge features. It's editors, it has two, a static and a drag and drop. Those are a bit of a mixed bag, so I'll, I'll uh, go through those, uh, the pros and the cons. Overall, it's a very solid offering though. It was ranked fifth best landing tool when, um, through our tests. Our tests we ran, uh, we ran through a deep dive over 20 different landing page tools, ended up doing a review on over 15 of those. So this ranked fifth with a score of 8.2 out of 10. So let's go ahead and get you started with the tool and how it looks on the back end. This is the dashboard. Basically it's organizing campaigns. So you set up a campaign, like I have a C1 campaign. And then within the campaign you have landing pages and pop-up widgets. Like this is an exit intent pop-up and this is a landing page that I put together. The dashboard's a l it will take a little bit of time for you to get used to uh, to wrap your head around uh, the campaign concept and then the, then the, all, the, all the different options here but at the end of the day I think it's a very good dashboard um, after using it for a little bit uh, now I feel very comfortable with you know you got the campaigns here you have your pages and widgets they also have some autoresponder email functionality uh, reports and then A-B tests so they're all here um, and, uh, and you can access everything very quickly Okay, as I mentioned, they have two different editors. They have a static editor, and that's their original editor. Um, about 90% of the templates, around 50 templates or so, are on that editor. They've recently come out with a new editor, which will go into second, but let's go ahead and get started and add a new page with the static editor. Okay, so you just create a new landing page, and then we can name the landing page and then look at the templates so these are the drag and drop templates for the other editor so we'll skip past those and then all the templates are here for the other editor this is a video background so this is one of the things that is different I'm not gonna edit this one but you can see you don't see a lot of video background templates um, but they do have some here um, with Kickoff Labs. So that's uh, just one thing that's a little differentiated from most of the other landing t uh, page builders out there. Now let's go ahead and use this template to uh, use in the static editor. And we'll kind of uh, walk through some of the different things it can do and uh, some of the limitations. Okay, so with the static editor, just how it sounds, you can't make a whole lot of changes. Um, you can't move things around, it's not drag and drop. Um, you can add some things, you can delete some things, but not everything. Um, and uh, it's pretty much what you see, what you get. They want it to be a layout that's not going to change too much. Um, and the second editor that they came out, which we'll go into next, is more flexibility. But that being said, this as a static editor has a good amount of options compared to other static e editors. So let's just go through a couple things it can do. Um, we can change a background image. So we can pick an image from, they have an image library here, which is very nice. So um, you have tons of pictures to look through um, and choose any one. I like the blurred ones because they're kind of neutral to any industry. And uh, let's see how this one looks. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I want to choose a different one because I want to show you the color overlay. Um, OK, let's just pick, let's pick this one. So you'll see the picture here. But it also has a cover overlay that's about half transparent for this reddish color. Um, so this is a nice feature that you see in a lot of landing pages. And you can up that up to be more opaque or to be less using that, uh, this transparency box. Um, but just a nice little um, add-on that not every landing page has. And um, 
in terms of not only the image library but also the overlay color option. Of course you can change any text um, so really uh, very easy inline editing. The nice thing about also about Kickoff Labs is that they have a lot of different types of fonts. You can obviously change all the different colors and oh here's the fonts where I was looking at I thought they had it. So here's the different fonts you can add um, and you have headline fonts and body fonts. So Okay, so you pick it there and it automatically changes everything on the screen. So, but if, but it doesn't seem like you, okay, now that option is here. Okay, I see. So basically, if you pick it here, it will become an option in the dropdown. Um, in addition to the colors, you can, um, you can edit the form, so add different fields, whether you want a drop down, whether you want a checkbox, another text field, that's something that you can easily do here. You can also decide what's going to be the action um, to going after uh, where you're going to send the subscriber after, the, after they sign up. Usually a thank you page, which gets into what we have next. So this tells you where you can redirect them to what you want the message to be. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, on exit, here is where you can put in an exit pop-up. So we have a bounce exit intent that we set up, which is basically an exit pop-up. And uh, you can't see it in this preview screen, but basically if someone tries to X out or hit the back button, that will uh, load up. And in the settings panel, you'll have meta description, page title, which are good for SEO and uh, some other various uh, settings that you can do um, which are good to fill out. One thing you can't do is add a section which is unfortunate but you can delete sections. A nice thing also you have this is a testimonial section right here and if you just want to add three testimonials you just choose three from the drop down box and there you go. So very uh, very simple, very intuitive and like I said for a static editor there is a lot of different things that you can do. So what are the features I don't have? Well, if you mess up and you uh, delete something that you didn't want to, there's no undo functionality. Um, with Also, there's no digital asset management or delivery. And basically what that means, uh, some tools will have an option when a subscriber signs up that they can download an ebook that you uploaded to the system. Here, it just redirects you to a different page you can't have it automatically download an asset. Also something that I would have liked to see is forms for the templates. So let's just uh, get out of here. And um, when you go into the exit, so I can show you um, what I made in terms of what's gonna be the pop-up when, um, when a visitor exits. It's not the best editor, by any means. It's not really a visual editor. You have to kind of make the changes over here and then preview it. You can't do it in line. Um, so this is just, you know, a, a random um, exit pop-up. So it would be a full screen kind of screen takeover exit. And, um, you know, I wasn't worried too much about the style. I just wanted to test out some of the background pictures, which you can do. And, but my point is, is I would have liked to see more templates for the pop-up widgets, so I wouldn't have to make my own, which is probably, which I could say is definitely not going to be good as a professional designer would. Um, once you do any type of pop-up or exit, the nice thing here, I know we uh, landing page tools shouldn't get too much into code, but the nice, thing, the cool thing about this, you can install the code. You can put it on any page on your site. It doesn't need to be a Kickoff Labs landing page. You can put this on any page and then that's going to create an exit pop-up. So that is also a nice feature. Drag and drop editor. It's a base it's basically a combination between a drag and drop editor and a page block system. Um maybe even more of a page block system more than a column-based drag-and-drop editor. Okay, so you'll see what I mean when we get into this. So let's add a new landing page, 
right in the landing page and pick our template. Let's use this one, Clean Flat Hero. And check out how this is different from the other one. First, let's just take a look at the editor, which you can't even see the editor really because it's so minimized, which is a great, obviously great minimalistic design here. You almost don't even need to preview it. You can see the whole page widthwise and the majority of the height as well. And if you do need to add anything from the sidebar, it comes in, but then it, it easily collapse. So the design of this editor, the new one, is uh, very, very good. Um, and uh, a lot different from some of the others that only will take up maybe you know a little bit over half of the screen. This takes over the vast majority of uh, the screen. So you'll see here, um, it is drag and drop. So let's see if we can, it's kind of weird you have to hit and move, which I'm not too used to. Um, but you know, if you want to change the order of things, you can do that. You can size images fairly easily. Of course, you can delete things um, with changing the text. What I've noticed sometimes it, it does freeze and it and you can't click on item. So it's in beta, I should have mentioned. It's very new. But you can to get out of this you can save it and it still saves even though it's kind of frozen. And then if you uh, reload it it should work. So hopefully they'll get that kink worked out so it's not an issue going forward and now you can go ahead and you know uh, edit things. So you can edit text of course, you can edit the background image um, similar to the others, images, buttons, pretty self-explanatory here. One of the nice things though that's different about the drag and drop editor, the new one, is that it has an icon library. So I love icon libraries because you know, obviously you wouldn't change it for the social media, but so many times you'll have a page section which has icons in it and you want to change it. And they look good, they're a very lightweight design element to put into your page and uh, very common. Okay, so that was a drag and drop part, but you can also see here that they have page blocks as well. And these are sections that you can add directly in. So anything from like a headline, um, a picture element with three or so pictures and you probably wouldn't want to put it there but the point is you can just add it in um, right onto the um, page. In addition to that you have some different forms not as many as I would like to see but um, you can go ahead and put those in. Countdown timer is always a nice feature to have for a landing page tool. Um, so they have a lot of different features. We don't need to go through them all. They're pretty standard in terms of video, um, testimonials, text, um, forms, things of that matter. So a lot of good options here. In terms of the design, um, again, you're going to have tons of Google fonts here that you can pick. So you can pick your favorite fonts if you have one from Google, different colors. Um, you can pick here that bounce exit intent if we want to have uh, exit pop up. The metadata for SEO and some of those other different features. Uh, your thank you page here. And then you also have a nice little help widget where if you want to look at um, what kind of articles they have in their knowledge base, you can do a search here. You can't read the article. This is going to um, open up in another tab. But that is uh, is a nice help feature. Okay, so um, in addition to this, they also have A/B testing. Um, so let's go ahead, um, and they also have mobile responsive pages, like most every landing page is going to have. But it's depending on how good they are. And let's check out how good this one is. Okay, so if you go to preview. Um, you'll see here, here's our desktop version, and of course you can hit the mobile button to see it in mobile, and it's perfectly responsive. 
Um, even some of these funky different things that I put in there in odd places um, are going to be laid out perfectly. Um, so they did a really good job in terms of making everything responsive without having the user do any extra work. So back to the dashboard, um, some of the publishing options here, you can publish as a Facebook tab. They have a WordPress plugin, so you can do that option. Note that both of those are premium options though, so you can't get that on the basic plan. Um, you can download the page if you want to manually upload it. And you have a lot of reporting too. So some of the best reports that I've seen in landing page tools are the ones here in uh, click off in um, kickoff labs so they did a really uh, a really robust uh, reporting suite and they even say here if you want any other reports you can just request a report and they'll get you the data okay what does it integrate with um, it integrates with quite a lot so if you go to the support section you can see everything it integrates in I'm not going to name them all but some of them are Zapier, Salesforce, MailChimp, some of the ones you don't hear more about, Olar, Kissmetrics, Pipedrive. The important one is Zapier, and that's important because Zapier will open up 500 or so different apps that you can connect up to. So you can go through Appier from Kickoff Labs, and then that will connect you up to other applications like Active Campaign, Campaign Monitor, and some others, which even if Kickoff Labs doesn't have a direct integration, you can get there through uh, the Zapier. So um, you can publish also through a subdomain, as you can with most tools, um, or send it to your custom domain. If you do the subdomain, that's going to be a Kickoff Labs domain, so it will have that in the, uh, in the title. So if you don't want that, you'll put it on your custom domain. Okay, so it's not a cheap tool. It's kind of uh, maybe it's kind of slightly above average in terms of price. Thirty nine per month for the starter plan. Um, that you get an ample ten thousand unique visitors, and but you don't get um, A B testing, and you don't get uh, magic contact data. Magic contact data basically fills in some extra details from social profiles for anyone who signs up to your email list using their email. Um, with the if you pay annually you're gonna get a 31% discount and the upfront costs then will be um, $324 which is equivalent to paying 27 a month um, premium is $69 per month with no commitment 35,000 unique visitors and a 30% discount so the upfront cost there would be $576 that you need to pay right off the bat which is essentially the equivalent to $48 per month. And then plans go up from there. Kickoff Labs, a very impressive tool, great features, um, great design, and really no major downsides. Um, one of the unique features, they do have a viral campaign called a viral boost, and that's something where um, you can add a referral link to some of your subscribers and basically if they share that to social media and other people subscribe through their link it's almost like a pyramid scheme but instead of money it's of virality so hopefully you can get you know they say up to 35 percent more shares using the a viral campaign so that's one of the different things they also have some contest functionality which we didn't go into because it's kind of outside the realm of landing pages um, but those are some features too so again overall it ranks fifth out of the more than 20 or so tools that we ranked. Um, it scored an 8.2 out of 10. And that um, was from four different factors. It got a 10 for design, eight for usability, eight for features, and then a seven for price. Wanted to let you know that this is just out of one, this is just one out of over 15 landing page tools that we reviewed out of the 20 that we looked at. Um, check out all the other tools that we reviewed you can do that through this link, see which was number one, and also download a free buying guide, which goes over the most important factors to consider when buying a landing page tool. So my name is Stephen from MarTech Wiz again, and thank you for watching.